A feral hog ripped in half. Bigfoot tracks found nearby. Today we go down under on Deep Dive. So today's video comes to us via Down Under, Australia, and what it shows is this hog ripped in half, allegedly, and uh, some Bigfoot tracks found around it. Now, the forum that posted this back in October of last year, uh, somebody had written in saying that, hey, listen, this person was a family member of mine, and this is the details behind it. Apparently, this person says it was her nephew that posted it and said was working on the Adani rail project in central Queensland between Glendon and west of Claremont when they were building the railway line which is over 300 kilometers when they rocked up at work and off the access track they found drag marks so the guys follow it for a few hundred meters following the drag marks which came about out of the bush and followed it to where they came across the pig or the feral hog, which had been completely in half, like nothing they had ever seen before, and footprints, which went back into the bush. So it had been torn apart a bit back up the track before being left where it lay. Now, we have confirmed that there is an Adani group, and they do have a railway project in Australia. So all of that remains consistent. So the person who wrote this in, I believe, is being truthful. And there is the CEO, Mr. Adani himself. And he's talking about this Australian rail project. But if you ask me, Mr. Adani just looks like an older version of Roman Maroney. You fucking sneaky bastard. So take a look at the video and we'll be talking about it next, but keep an eye on that footprint. Have you got a cigarette box? No, I just put my boot next to it. Brick clean in half, and then this next to it. Got a good shot of it? That might be a better one there. And it's going up the hill. Hey, what about just digging a hole and burying it? So the video and the audio sounds pretty authentic. I don't believe these guys were hoaxing somebody, but I think they may have been hoaxed themselves. I want you guys to keep an eye out for those toes and when I'm circling here uh, that mid-tarsal break. My first concern about this is the footprint itself. It does not look as wide as your typical Sasquatch. Here you see the foot of the person taking the video and his heel width seems pretty consistent with the heel of this footprint here. If we look at the mid-tarsal break here, it appears that that flex point appears more human-like than it actually does Sasquatch type. The, the mid-tarsal is set more closer to the toes than midline of the foot, which is characteristic of Sasquatch prints. In the video, we see a brief glimpse of what appears to be a trackway, but the trackway does not appear to really have long strides. They appear to be, you know, very short strides. Another thing is the two prints we see in the video are both left footprints. Very interesting because we don't see that right footprint. Again, here's both the left footprints, and what we see here is no delineation between toe splay. And that itself is another problem because if it's something that's being stamped or written, the toe splays may be consistent, especially if it's a stamper. In taking a look at the creature, we see that the tear or being ripped apart, it appears to be evenly cut right down the middle. 
In the unblurred version, you can clearly see there seems to be no signs of predation on the animal either. And it is obvious it's not the kill site. There's no blood around it or anything like that. So the creature had been dead and moved to the area where it is now. The other concerning thing, as the describer or the person who wrote in, the ant or uncle, said that, hey, you know, thing had been dragged for, you know, a, a few hundred meters. I don't see any obvious drag marks in the video. I mean, it could be just the video is not good enough to show that, but one would think they would have showed those drag marks. So in summation, what I think we're looking at, given the footprint evidence, the footprints obviously do not look real to me. The toes are awfully even lined. The mid-tarsal breaks in the wrong place. Um, and there's a big hump there, which would mean that the foot would have to be, you know, and I understand it could push off. So, I mean, obviously it looks like to me the mid-tarsal is way too far up to be a Sasquatch to boot. There's no differentiation in toe display, which even leads more to my suspicion. We see in the video two of the same foot, two left feet, no right foot. The strides are, you know, not long enough in the area where we see it, you know, where they flashed and it was walking up the hill. Um... And again, the animal, no predation, looks evenly cut. It doesn't look like it was ripped apart. And the other thing, too, is why would something kill a hog, drag it 500 feet, and not consume it? Um, it looks like it was killed for no reason, which makes no sense, because why would you drag something 500 meters and then, you know, not eat it if that's your plan? And you would have to have dragged them both. And one of the things, you would find one in one place, one in the other. Well, where is the predation? We don't see any predation marks on it at all. And if you think about it, how can you rip a sat how can even a Sasquatch rip a pig in half? I mean, if you grab it by the tail and grab it by the jaw, Either the tail or the jaw is going to come off first before it splits in the middle. Uh, if you grab it by the legs, the legs are going to come off before you tear it in half. But the interesting thing is here, and I think the uh, aunt or uncle made a great point. This is part of a rail project. What if that hog got caught in between a boxcar and got run over by the rail split in half? Then they, they move it, they drag, they drag it out of the, the rail line to get it out of the way, and that's what we have. So that's what I'm thinking. This hog was actually split in half by a rail car. You know, it may have run under one of the cars while the train was moving and boom, that was it. So I think that's a more plausible explanation. And given the fact that we know now it's part of a rail project, not just randomly found somewhere, that makes a lot of sense of how this happened. So anyway, that's my take on it. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video today. You know, Throw a comment down below. Tell us what you think. Lock it in with a thumbs up. And if you love what we do here, subscribe. And hey, what? We also have a membership where we do a lot of members-only videos and you get updates and stuff that's not normal for the normal public. So give that a look, too. Folks, we'll catch you all here Sunday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern for Squatch DTV Live. And beginning on January 19th, 2024, we're starting the Bigfoot News live at 9 p.m. Friday evenings. Eastern. We'll catch you all next time. Everybody be safe. God bless. Keep on squatching and peace out.